Hello and welcome to Brady's MTG. My name is Vyacheslav and today I tell you how I start and finish post records of online duels for magic, old school magic and pre-mod actually. I started from in April, finish in June, so it was two months that I post at least two records per week. And actually a long time I don't want to do it because yeah, I mostly want to show my cards in my videos, yeah. So <laughs> if I will show my cards and cards of other players, it's like not so uh, vibe of collection show, <laughs> not so fine for me. But when I think that will be not so bad, and uh, it's, I can't say it's bad. I actually have a lot of uh, bonuses that you have when you post the records of your videos, or even just if you made records of your videos and watched after. And the first, you can think about your mistakes. I think about decisions that you made in the process of the game, so you can become more, you know, serious player. <laughs> you can learn something new from a rewatch of your duels. Because, you know, when you stay under the table <laughs> and see how people playing, you understand how to win. When you're playing, mostly you understand only how to lose. And it's a most important plus, because you can watch your games and learn. But it have uh, drawbacks too, and especially in my case, maybe even more than usual. First one is, of course, low quality of record, because when we play online, we use webcams. My cam is just cam of MacBook, so it's not very <laughs> high quality. At time to time, I'm thinking to upgrade my setup, but uh, I'm not sure that it's really important, because for just play, it's uh, good enough. And uh, my opponents too. I can't, you know, say to my opponent, you made a better setup for our duel. I want to see <laughs> a better picture <laughs> of the cards. And also in any even good applications like Tularia or any way to record your games, you know, screen not so good enough for duel magic. Two per two. You can of course set your cam widely height and stuff like this, but you, again, it's uh, the specific setup for two specific persons. It's uh, hard, to hard to realize if you really want it. So mostly we have a lot of free space on screen. It's, uh, in my opinion, not looks very fine. Okay, I don't like it. so many empty space. And one more problem, especially for me, <laughs> it's it's my problem. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, when I rewatch the videos to post it, I can't stop to cut extra moments. When, you know, we magic players, sometimes we do stuff like uh, uh, shuffle cards in hands. Sometimes we thinking about minute or two about the uh, next uh, turn. Sometimes we shuffle deck for fetch land or for land tax. And I try to you know, remove all these moments because it's uh, uh, not so good. I know it's not important, but uh, I can't stop. <laughs> so, uh, as a fact, uh, making these videos, it's a lot of time for me. It's slightly hard to. And uh, one more, it's the last point. <laughs> That's, uh, maybe it's not actually a reason that I stopped to do it. Maybe actually a reason that I just have just too busy right now after the immigration, start working and stuff like this. But uh, one last moment was when I tried to make free videos and actually spend the time for this. Three videos in a row and my dog walking to the balcony. Okay. Uh, and each time uh, I spend some <laughs> moments to, you know, cut extra parts and when I see that my opponent show me a cards. It's <laughs> not any trick, not any special uh, business. Just, you know, sometimes when you play online, especially, and they come on, on the, over a table, you can't hide your hand properly. Mostly other players just don't see it, I think, because each time that I see I tell to my opponent to, you know, hide hand, <laughs> of course. But when I record games, I made screen um, smaller, yeah, and uh, I need to watch into my cards, need to watch into timers. <laughs> for record stuff like this, so I just don't see it. And uh, when I mentioned it, I think, okay, I can't uh, cut it off because my opponent really <laughs> do it a long time. Not uh, by a reason, it's uh, just, uh, you know, it happens and I actually can't not see hard. But uh, okay, I go to the next video and see the same stuff. <laughs> and one more and see same stuff again, but now from my side, when I show my cards, and I'm pretty sure that my opponent don't see it, because when you play online, you're not uh, watching the screen all the time. So after this, I say, oh, no, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. And also, it's not, you know, it 
help you to be better when you rewatch your games, but uh, I don't have so big fun when I watch the games right now. I don't... Uh, actually, I watch uh, games for other players really rare, and I really have not fun when I <laughs> made, make my videos and rewatch it time per time. It's uh, not made me so happy. Uh, maybe it's more important reason. And the last part of this video, I tell you how to hide your hand. It's actually can be important because, uh, of course, our format is casual. We play for fun, but I remember like maybe six years ago or more, in one event, uh, I think it was in Moscow, two players sit and play magic by stealing from our event organizers, and one judge has mentioned it that one of the players sit uh, with a mirror in the back, and the judge see that he can see the cards. And uh, it was a long uh, procedure when to try to understand. There is not opening cheating and see cards too. There is not this player show card by some specific trick. I'm pretty sure in Magic you can show your cards in hand. Uh, nobody can, you know, uh, say you to no, but maybe it's not legal. I am not clearly sure, but not important. Uh, if you watch your opening cards, it can be uh, on the border of cheating, yeah? And if you show your cards, sometimes it can be trick too, because, uh, you know, if you play by gentleman rules, slightly show your opponent your sword, your opponent will think, oh no, uh, I seen the sword, so I'll try to play as I don't see it, and yeah, play not optimal. Sometimes it can be used as trick too, so it's better to hide your cards. So, here you can see my professional setup for online magic games. Online webcam magic games. You can see all important stuff here, like display, webcam on the laptop, and play mat. It's an important part of your professional online player. You need to have a play mat. And how I try to don't show my hands. At first, you can see that I have some corner. Yeah, it's not uh, clearly vertical cam. So uh, even if I get my cards like this. It will be not sh short or blinking by camera that uh, hardly on the table. So you can just m move your camera slightly closer to this point and uh, show your table by some little corner, not uh, by direct message. Of course, picture will be not so good, but uh, you will not show your cards. And when I play, yeah, I'll try to put my hand like this, with some little corner. Yeah, so I can read my cards. I don't do stuff like this to read them, or this. I can read it even in this case. And I'm pretty sure that if I have some little corner, even this uh, right position will be still don't show it. Yeah. But anyway, I'm trying to do it slightly closer. And when I thinking about, it, I don't just shuffle cards <laughs> like many players do. Mostly, I just put cards on the table, put it like six points to show my opponent how many cards I have, and chill, relax, try to understand how to play. Mostly, of course, I forget how cards I have, <laughs> what the cards I have in my hand, but uh, it's not so big problem. So it's my secret life hack. <laughs> not so secret, I'm pretty sure, but maybe it will be helpful for someone. Like this. <laughs> it's not work all the time, of course, uh, because uh, as I mentioned before, I show my hand sometimes too. Without any reason, it's just like hand technical mistake. But it happens. So after these two months experiments, I think I will not return to online records. I don't like it too much. And on my channel, you will see only casual kitchen games with me and my wife by different old school modern decks. So if you like content like this, please subscribe to don't miss next video. And uh, also thank you for watching up to the end. If you like this video, please support me by leave a comment, press the like button. And also you can become a channel member or join a Patreon by link in the description. Thank you again, have a nice day and have nice games. Bye.